What are you two? It's your boy DJ Teddy. This is my latest acquisition. This is a Pelican case 1600. I actually own three of these ones. This is my fourth one. And I got it for a great deal on eBay. Bought it for 51 bucks on eBay. What an amazing deal. So here it is. It's a full case. It comes with the phone. It was used, like I said, but it's, I mean, it's almost brand new. You got, uh, you got some uh, pockets over here, and then got a almost brand new phone. Just got a couple holes, and you got another set of phone underneath. So I'm going to fit my GoPro projector there, the Martin PR1, and my new laser. The ADJ uh, Ruby Royale. I'm gonna fit it here. So this these cases right here, they are waterproof and chopproof. Pretty hard uh, plastic case. Pretty solid. You can you can throw that out the window from the second floor, and everything inside will be intact. And I truly believe on the Pelican cases. I own, like I said, I own three of those. This is my four one and I got it for 51 bucks on eBay. That was a steal. So this is one of my few uh, gear updates. And I'm gonna show you guys how it looked with the PR1 inside. Alright guys, there it is. I had the Martin PR1 on this side. And I had the ADJ Ruby Royale right here. I actually had to take the, the mount off, I had to take the top, I had to take the screws. Put on a zip lock because with the amount of it was really hard to close the case. So it's probably gonna take me about I wanna say three to four minutes to put it back together before the gig, you know, during the setup time. But I think it's worth it because the, the case actually is going to protect the, the uh, lighting uh, feature, the laser. So I'd rather protect the laser than. I mean, it's gonna take me a little longer, but I'd rather protect the laser in the long run. The Martin PR1. Got the power cord right there. I can put it right here, but then it's gonna touch with this, so I'd rather keep it here and, you know, it kinda work. So there it is. So there you have you two. Uh, have my Martin PR1 and my laser inside this case. The reason why I bought it is because uh, I actually dropped my PR1 last week or the week before by mistake. Uh, it was I didn't have a case for it, so it was loose on my truck. And I was moving some stuff when it dropped, and uh, thanks God it still worked. The only thing that got damaged was the light bulb, so I had to go on Amazon and buy some new light bulbs put on my PR1 so I'm like okay let me just go ahead and get a case for it because I don't want to drop it again that's my goal projector you know you can do some cool stuff with that then I just recently purchased that ADJ Ruby Royale that I didn't have a case for it so be professional I had to step it up and get a case like I said I got a great deal on eBay so thank you guys alright you two another year year update this is how I carry my, my cables, man. This is like a, this is not the proper way to carry cables. I got all kinds of stuff here mixed up. So I'm gonna give you guys uh, an update of how I'm gonna carry my cables from now on. This is my new acquisition, my new toy. This is a cable gig organizer cable bag so this is my bag like I was saying uh, this this organizer gig bag uh, but on Amazon you got a bunch of compartments so you can actually fit individual cables instead of going through a bunch of cables and stuff trying to figure out where's the RCA's or no RCA's the XLR cables and the power cords that's gonna have these nicely uh, dividers here so I can like 
put my power cords here and then my SLRs on this side. And then everything's gonna be organized. So much easier. So let me let me pack it up first and show you guys. Hi right, YouTube, this is your boy DJ Teddy. This is my new bag, like I was uh, showing you guys. This is the cable file. The original gig organizer. You can fit all your cables, all your XLRs, your power cords in there. Let me show you guys what I got in there. Uh, right here is the main uh, compartment. If you open it, uh, you can see there. This is a huge compartment, right? And I have all my cables. I got the big XLR right here. I got about two for each divider you got dividers right here this one is actually empty and I got another one empty here so I got a bunch of XLR cables that I ordered that's probably gonna fit there I got XLR I got two here this one right here is the one with the 1-4 uh, input you can see it there then uh, over here I got the six inches not six inches six feet uh, XLRs then over here I got my power my power cord cables. Usually I use this for my power speakers, my software first power, and uh, my ADJ lights, my shower lights. You know, every DJ light pretty much uses the same uh, power cord. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? No, I'm missing this one right here. You know, I got so many devices I, I can't even count it. Like, okay, I got two here. This one is empty. I got two cables here, two more, so man, so much room. So you see it right there. That's my new bag, the cable file, original bag, <laughs> sorry, arena gig organizer. So right here in the front, it's amazing, man. It's right here in the front, this is the shit. This is the shit right here. I got a power strip right here in the front. On this one. Got here, got this uh, three three plug, uh, kind of like a extension cord. It's really short, but I use it for my long. When I use my long uh, orange extension cords, I, I like to plug in this one so I can spread out the uh, power. Then I have my uh, haze machine control controller here, remote control. And uh, let me flip this thing. Here's the rear end or the back. And I have two compartments here, they're really big. Right here. Look at that. Got a central core. I hate using those orange ones because they're so bright. But uh, I mean they good for like outdoor gigs when you have to like run just your uh, power from you know 50 feet or whatever. I have two of these and I actually have a 50 feet on my truck, but this is like 25 feet. So I got another 25 feet here too. Uh, right here, yeah, there's another one there. And then I have another power strip. So you see guys, this is a good investment. Cost me about 59 bucks plus shipping. It was like, I wanna say it was like 75. 15 bucks shipping, but I mean, it's a good investment, man. We, we spend so much money on DJ lights and power speakers and computers and music and you name it, but we don't spend money on little things sometimes, like a cable, I mean, a, a bat for your cable. We spend so much money on, you know, DJ equipment, lights, turntables, controllers, uh, computers, 